Sushil Kumar leaves home at six o'clock every morning. It takes him an hour and a half to cycle 24 kilometers to reach work in central Delhi. It's a dangerous journey on a bike, but he has no option. He earns less than $100 a month, and with a family of four to support, he can't afford to take public transport. Until I make it back home, they are very concerned. They're always worried about me when I go to work. They hope that nothing happens to me on the way. My children pray to God that their father will be all right. With car ownership increasing in India year on year, drivers are the priority for India's city planners. Across the country, wider roads and flyover junctions are being built to ensure a faster flow of traffic. For slower moving commuters, getting around is ever more deadly. In the capital alone, three cyclists or pedestrians are killed each day. For example, in Europe, the speed limit inside the city on the main roads is maximum is 50. In Delhi, generally cars are going 60, 70. And because of the high speeds, that's one of the reasons we have a large number of deaths. And second is just road design, which doesn't separate bicycles and pedestrians from fast cars and buses and trucks. In Kolkata, authorities have gone a step further, banning cyclists from main roads. It's mostly the marginalized poor who rely on bikes to commute or earn a living. And campaigners say it's not just their livelihoods at stake. We really need urgent action plan to protect our zero emitters. This city cannot breathe the air that we have today. And knowing that WHO only last week has reclassified air pollution as class one carcinogen, we really need to be careful now. On the few cycle pathways that exist in Delhi, there are often more forbidden motorized vehicles than bikes. With little or no enforcement to protect cyclists' rights, those pushing for further provisions face an uphill battle.